Hello again, it's week 14. We're moving right along in the semester here. Many of you have um, been excited to hear about the changes that have happened because of our Constitution. Your representatives in the Roman Republic, your senators, have drafted some changes to the course. Some of those are going to be reflected in this week's direction, so let's talk about them as we go. If you look at the assignment calendar on the home page, you'll notice that there's been a change. Uh, week 14 is just highlighted all the way across here. So if you click on week 14 on Monday, it will tell you exactly what's going on. Uh, so if you have any questions about the days and how they're going, go ahead and jump in and check there. Now, um, when you go to week 14, what you're going to see is the modern Monday Neolithic to cheeseburger. I haven't been overly happy with how Monday has been grabbing your attention. So what I've done is I'm going to try and pick one idea or one theme as a grabber or an example of how to write a grabber. So we're going to change Monday. It's going to have a theme and by popular request there's going to be some time for some reading as you saw on the calendar your reading assignment this week is pages 173 through 205 that's a lot of reading this week uh, good news for you is that 173 uh, to 178 is the fall of Rome we're going to cover that in our bell ringer on Monday so no need to stress too much about that reading but remember 15 minutes a night which makes for great study time do a little bit of reading or go through your notes or jump on the online textbook which I'll show you how to do again here in a little bit and take the quiz let's go to Monday alright here we are on Monday you have a reminder that your civilization project is due on 12 12 that's gonna be sneaking up on us here pretty quickly civilization project there's the rubric scroll down here's what's required on the civilization project you will need to construct your own civilization uh, you can do this as a diorama you can do it digitally using clash of clans or any other sims out there uh, make sure that if you are playing an online game that you are responsible don't give anybody any of your information um, and certainly feel free if you're a clash of planning to try and find mister daniels and attack his civilization good luck to you next is geography um, what is the geography of your civilization you're going to need a physical map so if you're doing the diorama obviously i can see the physical map if you are doing an online civilization you're going to need to include a screenshot of the geography around your actual civilization how does it affect the people living there this is going to be something that you're going to have to write about where do they get their water? Is it from a river? Is it from the ocean? Is it from a stream? Do they get it out of the mountains? We, by the time this is due, will have talked about all of the civilizations that we're going to talk about. So you should have a pretty decent idea of how people have been doing this for thousands of years. So the next thing is what are the natural resources that are found in the area? Uh, do they mine gold? Do they mine iron? Do they mine bronze? Um, do they mine Swedish fish and nerds? Uh, all of this is up to you. What are the major obstacles your people need to overcome to live in this society? So how are they able to overcome them becomes the bonus. So when you're talking about obstacles, you're looking at like the Egyptians obviously are not going to be able to go down to the water's edge grab the water in their own bucket and put it up on into their irrigation systems like we talked about so they came up with the shadoof again I believe this is a crocodile induced invention however whatever it is that you include please include it next government what is the structure of your government empire kingdom city-state democracy republic um, whatever it is that you choose feudalism uh, pick your system and go with it again this does not have to be realistic you can make this up it can be futuristic it can be present day but we do want to be using some of these things that we learned about this is a comprehensive project for the semester what are the public works so what does the government do we talked about what good government should do for its citizens hopefully yours is a good government what are the laws of your society make sure that you have a law code and that it's posted what is your foreign policy? Uh, are you going to be isolated? Are you going to be economic? Are you going to be militaristic? So are you going to keep to yourself, trade with others, or are you going to take over others? Is your society a patriarchy, matriarchy, or is it gender equal? Perhaps it's run by gummy bears. Who knows? 
economy. What is your economy based on? Is it traditional? Traditional meaning people are trading, bartering. Is it um, monetary? Have you invented money? If you have, what's your money look like? Uh, if you trade uh, with others, what does that trade look like? What is it based on? What are you giving them and what are you getting in return? For example, Greeks would be trading olive oil and wine to other civilizations. They would also be trading marble and in return probably getting cotton, uh, some dyes, some grains. Uh, there are going to be a lot of trade going on there. Uh, if you steal it, what are you stealing? If you grow it, what are you growing? And perhaps who are you trading your excess with? Uh, how do you transport your goods? <clears throat> Do you do it in a cart? Do you do it on a barge like the Mesopotamians? How do you do it? What jobs are available to your inhabitants? Okay. Job specialization. What things can people do? Include five or six jobs here and that should roll right into your social structure. Okay. Which is provide a diagram of your social structure. Describe how your social structure developed. Aryans and non-Aryans for example. Develop a complex system of religion. It can be monotheistic. It can be polytheistic. You can be the god if you like. Have a creation story. Tell me about the afterlife. And then in a bonus, you can include a literary work or oral tradition. Uh, you might want to also talk about how they get to the afterlife. Archaeology. Include two items from each bullet below that you found in the excavation of your ancient civilization. So when you write your paper, you're going to be writing it as an archaeologist. No personal pronouns, obviously, but you're going to be writing about this civilization. You're going to briefly describe it. So what I want then is what are the artifacts that you dug out of the ground that tell you about this civilization? Finally, remember history does not repeat itself, but it sure does rhyme, and it's going to be fun to go ahead and create these. We're going to go ahead and jump back to week 14 here. Actually, let's see. Modern Monday. Uh, here's an hour seven mandatory video if you're in two through six or eight this is an optional video the video itself though is pretty awesome because what it does is it makes an interesting connection for modern Monday like we talked about modern Monday the double cheeseburger or for everybody in the bell ringer modern Monday how is Rome similar to the United States uh, this also reviews the Neolithic Revolution which should be a helpful reminder because our final is going to be comprehensive if you're in seventh hour, here's the agricultural revolution video claims uh, confirmation statement. So this is a link to the discussion board. Just create a thread and post there. Uh, here's the Mesoamerican jigsaw note guide. What we're going to try with the note guides, many of you asked that we make some changes to that. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and cover the Olmecs. We will cover the Mayans. We will cover the Aztecs. We will cover the assorted South American cultures that are in your textbook. We will cover the Incas. We will cover the assorted cultures of North America and essentially what we're going to do on those is we're going to include um, and let me get this out of the way if you move this table of contents over here and you scroll down then this is a little bit larger in size um, you can actually you should be able to type right on this thing um, if you click on it so it's embedded here but we're going to click on it it opens up in your Google Drive and if I add to it, um, the Olmecs are going to be in the Yucatan. I don't want to make that underlined. I want to make it less than underlined. So they're going to be in the Yucatan Peninsula. And they're going to be dealing with dense rainforests. Okay. And that information comes to me from Ellis, and I believe it is page 187. Now, the page number might not be quite correct, but here's the journal idea for what they do. Yucatan Peninsula, and they live in dense rainforests. Now, we're not quite done here. What I want to do at the end of this is I want to put Daniel's hour 
uh, blank you fill in the blank now uh, this tells me a couple different things one I got the information in Ellis 187 and this tells me your name and the hour that you are in so that I can give you credit for adding to the jigsaw if you use an outside source to provide information specifically for the assorted North American or assorted South American cultures you're going to need to add that citation to the works cited page using citation machine it is my hope that we can fully fill out this note guide and use it to help us with our paper on Friday so that being said running a little short on time we're jumping back to blackboard here as we continue down we see that that is it for Monday and that'll all be there here's my table of contents back one two three four things on Monday so let's go back to week 14 roll to Tuesday scavenger hunt you are going to have a scavenger hunt on Tuesday it will be posted at 8 a.m. the only thing that you will need on Tuesday is to have watched the directions and you will need to have a partner who has a smartphone with a QR code reader so that you can do a Google form um, and these are going to be posted throughout the school so you're going to have to go around and find the QR codes answer the question correctly to get the next clue and then you will carry on to the next item the idea here is that we're going to go and see see some of the things that the ancient civilizations give us and we're going to be exploring pretending to be some of those European explorers whenever we bumped into these Native Americans if we jump back to week 14 we're going to end up on Wednesday, www.wednesday and Theory Thursday have been combined. What you're going to have to do here is a Mesoamerican jigsaw. The directions will be posted here in video format. Um, and then if you close this table of contents just like that, you can scroll down and you can see the Mesoamerican jigsaw rubric. This assignment is going to be a beautiful assignment for many of you in your grades. It's 30 points possible. It's not a difficult rubric like the writing assignment rubric that we do and you can work in groups um, no more than three please if you are in groups you're going to need to remember to turn in your rubric with your project and the names of your group members below so you'll have to print this rubric um, if you click on it it should open it in Google Docs for you and what you will get then is you're going to need to talk about the present day lessons that you've learned from this culture talk about the geography architecture food and tools you'll need to have a choice which includes an outside area of interest and your presentation the presentation should stand alone but demonstrate careful thought and be laid out uh, efficiently we are going to be using Google draw or we will be using Glogster. I'll be showing you an example in the directions here and I'll be posting the example to Wednesday um, <clears throat> and that takes care of Wednesday and Thursday so then let's jump and look at the last day here is Friday formative Friday click on the manorial system attachment here notice this is due Tuesday that's the last addition to the student constitution you are going to be receiving more time to write your papers you also will notice that group B is going to be graded on this so if you look at the calendar obviously group B is named this should be popping open here for me okay here it's open uh, you just need to click on enable editing you will see that there is a Venn diagram here you're gonna look at the manorial system on the left similarities and differences you're gonna pick the civilization that you chose to do your project on if I didn't mention this you only pick one for your project you're gonna compare the two then you come down here and you'll compare the manorial system to someone else's project from the class these will be posted online they'll be on Friday that they'll be posted um, and or around the room then the final question is which system left a greater legacy okay, so that's a typographical error there I need to change that that probably will not be reflected on your paper uh, introduction is here make sure that you're doing exactly what it says body paragraph is here many of you are looking for again another change in your constitution it was more three paragraph essays less five paragraph essays so here's one for you and this one I've actually written out for you trying to help you with some of the things that we missed in our Athens vs Rome DBQs focusing especially on the introduction we missed some key information in the introduction and how to set up our papers restating the question and the claim 
the mini claim we did a nice job on the evidence you all did an excellent job of finding evidence here's a sentence frame for your evidence if you would like one uh, transitioning from our evidence to our explanation we struggle with a little bit so we're going to add that in here while these three systems are similar slash different blank has continued to be in use in societies around the world if you want to use this one you can if not you're welcome to do something else and then finally the argument we really struggle with this you have to have this I know it's redundant I know it seems foolish but you have to say thus comma blank farming technique has left a greater legacy you gotta make the argument then you transition into your conclusion here's a sentence range for your conclusion what should be here um, if you use any outside sources for this assignment you will not need a work cited just make sure you have the parenthetical citations and make them correct. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email me, Daniel C. at ksdr1.net. This has been a Purple Propaganda Production video.